And so we come to a match two of this uh, semi-final first leg. Lin Yunju, the 30-year-old uh, from Chinese Taipei. Talented player up against Alexander Tiotriumov, a local lad, just 23 years old, still very much in the making as far as his professional career goes. On and board player again, quite clearly the favourite to take this. We could be in for an upset and a slight surprise. Better time in the semi finals of the competition. Another way it should make for uh, an exciting encounter. Both very aggressive, explosive players, so could make for some great rallies, some great table tennis. But uh, Tiotriumov definitely with uh, his back up against the wall in this one. I don't think uh, too many will be expecting him to. Run away with a clear victory. If he does, it'll be a hard fought one. So the world number seven, Lin Yunju, up against the world number 245. <laughs> And then Alexander Tiryumov. Both players with a point on the board. Turn once but twice. Oh. Very well worked point there. 23 year old. Oh. Almost uh, seemed like he was caught in between. Two minds there with that one, didn't quite commit to it. Uh. That explosiveness from Lin Yunju. Oh, Experienced player in Yunju. What a decorated one as well, not just in the singles but in doubles events as well. Picked up a uh, bronze a medal in the mixed doubles representing Chinese Taipei in Tokyo 2020. at the uh, World Championships and the Mixed Doubles as well in Houston last year. Missed opportunity there for Tiotriumov. Trails by four now. respect the effort he's not showing Lin Yunju any respect he's really trying to take the game to him but perhaps needs to just try and take it back a notch or two it 
So I want to try and force the points. Game points for the Orenburg player and takes it impressively. First time asking. Lin Yunju takes a game one convincingly. 11 3 against UMMC's Alexander Tiotriumov here in match two. Vladimir Samsonov, Mr. Champions League himself, looking uh, more than uh, happy in his player's performance, as he should be. Lin Yunju. And uh, very calm himself, isn't it? To, to do him off and started well. Just needs to try and uh, relax a little bit. Starts. Just too hot to handle. Or to do him off at the moment. Struggling to come up with an answer. The problem is, An Yun Ju seems to just be uh, gradually getting better and better. Felt like he was warming up in the first game, which is bad news uh, for Tutorimov. Well. He's just lost his way a little now as well. to show how much of this game is psychological as well. You struggle to see a way back for yourself. You end up making decisions that are out of character and away from the game plan. Already 6-0 down here in the second game. He's got a point on the board though. Certainly help the cause. Looks more like it. We'll give them something to work with now. Closes the gap to four. there off balance Didn't quite know how to approach that one a wild one that time from Lin Yun Zhu. A lift and bounce on that serve, giving Ling Yunju plenty of time to wind up and then pull the trigger. Ten game points, or excuse me, seven game points, 10 3 up. Took game one, 11 3. Now only take game three or game two by the same margin. The answer is no. Fantastic return there from Tiuktriumov. on for a little bit longer but not much longer 11 for the final score in game two as Lin Yun Zhu takes a 2 and nothing lead looking to give his side a 2 nothing lead overall as well now just one game away from doing just that one-way traffic so far in this second match UMMC look like they might be in trouble
opening three about to get underway. Tiotrim off, off to a scoring start, just what the doctor ordered. Three-year-old with a mountain to climb here. It's going to take some effort to turn this around, you feel. Adenburg look on track to make it a clean sweep in this uh, first leg. The semi-final. Better from the 23-year-old. Flick of the wrist there on that backhand. Just get over the top of the ball. Here is have to try and get on a little run of points though. Yeah, Chinese Taipei player. Square at three apiece. <laughs> Just catches the edge. And level it up at four all. Well, it is all or nothing now for Alexander. Teotrimov, nothing to lose at this stage. one of those players that takes a little bit to find his rhythm, settle into matches, but the problem with that is Lin Yunzhu, with the way that he started this second match, hasn't really given his opponent much time to settle in. This is the closest the Russian has come to giving the Orenburg player a run for his money. late than never, as they say. <laughs> UMMC timeout called. Last ditch attempt to try and salvage something here. And if we're being honest, is the Lin Yun Zhu show so far? Fantastic learning experience for Alexander Tirutirumov, though.
Big points as well. Keeps himself in it. Credit to the young Russian, who has put up a really good fight in this third game. Seven. Seven. He's just come up against a, a better opponent in the form of Lin Yunzhu. That experience there for everyone to see. Tutorimov, a player. A, uh, a bright future ahead of him. Looks like he's going to need a, a new bat. To, uh, try and fight uh, these uh, three match points for Lin Yunju. Catching the table there. With the other one leaving a, a decent dent in his uh, bat, I think. Rematch points for Lin Yunju. To put Orenburg firmly in control of this semi final first leg. Away from home as well. And there it is. Lin Yunju. Takes uh, game three, 11 7, having taken one and two, 11 4, or 11 3, excuse me, and then 11 4. So a uh, clean sweep, 3 0 win in match two gives Orenburg a 2 0 lead on track for a uh, clean sweep here in the first leg. All smiles in the Orenburg corner. Confirmation of the result there. And match three just around the corner now. Slight break just before the action gets underway again.